80-year-old Hart County veteran lost everything in a trailer fire. It's been a week since he reported on the incident, and since then, the community has shown an outpouring of support, donating enough supplies for the Hart County, Hart County Veterans Committee to stock up for more than whatever the veterans need. That's right, WBK reporter Presley Allen has updates on how the community has helped veteran Tony Smith and how the new Hart County Veterans Close Closet has been a silver lining in this tragedy. We've had tons of community outpouring from locals all the way to people that are out of state, you know, thousand miles away have sent in donations for him. President of the Hart County Veterans Committee, Derek McClure, says donations have come from as far as New York to help retired veteran Tony Smith, who lost everything and is left homeless after his trailer caught fire last weekend. It reminds me of why I was proud to serve in the United States Air Force. Um, you know, all the branches of military give each other a lot of grief because one's better than the other. But in this case, nobody sees anything but green. They just want to help each other. The outpouring of support has brought in so many donations that the Hart County Veterans Committee has now started a veterans closet for future situations where veterans may need necessities. An accidental um, silver lining to, you know, Tony's unfortunate event with him losing his home that everything from uh, t-shirts and pants to shoes and hats and that sort of thing and hygiene stuff it's just more than any one person could ever need which we are absolutely thankful for and I know that Tony's thankful for it as well. Smith is temporarily residing in a motel in Horse Cave that is being funded by the Hart County Veterans Committee. Those locally looking to donate clothing or supplies can drop off items at 1217 Main Street in Munfordville. More information on how to donate monetarily can be found on the Hart County Veterans Committee's Facebook page. In Horse Cave, Presley Allen, WBKO News. Other entities that have provided Tony with assistance include the Bowling Green VFW, Glasgow VFW, and the American Red Cross.